Alright, so Elephant Labs just released a new AI tool called Elephant AI and basically this is very similar to ChatGPT or Gemini but it is voice centric. So the main way you interact or communicate with AI is by talking to it and it will answer a question or request with an audio voice. And what's unique about that is that it is using one of the voices from Elephant Labs database. So you'll know that it is going to be quite realistic, very human, very natural. So that's one key advantage from Elephant AI. And also it does support MCP and it can be integrated with some tools like Google Calendar, Perplexity, Slack, and many others. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Elephant AI and maybe a few things that you need to know when you are using this AI tool. All right, first, let's go to elephant.ai. That is the address of the AI tool. And then you can log in with your Elephant Labs account. Uh, it's the same company, so there's no reason you couldn't use your same your email and password. And after that, you'll see this onboarding message. It says that this is the ultimate personal assistant and there is MCP support. And you can choose from 5,000 plus voices from Eleven Labs. Although in reality, it's not actually 5,000. It's more like 10 or 20 maybe. I'll talk about that later, but let's click next. And... Uh, you can give a name to your AI assistant. In this case, by default, it is using Elephant as the name and I'm not going to change it. And here for the voice, uh, there are indeed 5,000 plus voices, but in reality, you might want to just use the ones from perfect for Elephant.ai category. So uh, these voices are known to be very good, very natural and compatible for AI, so for Elephant AI. So I do recommend to use the ones in this category and i guess i'm gonna try using alexandra by repeating what students say okay let's just click her voice and let's click create and just wait for it to uh, set up everything all right that's a really nice sound effect okay there's going to be this integration option and i'm going to skip it at the moment i'm going to talk about it later but let me just close this and don't worry i'm going to show you how you can access it later and here well, I guess I'm going to just ask a question, maybe a few questions to AI, and I'll talk about integrations later. So I'll do a quick demonstration now. Good afternoon, X6. What All adventure right. are we starting today? Okay, so can you tell me when is your knowledge cut off? That's a great question. My knowledge goes up to early 2023. I don't have real-time access to information beyond that point, so I can't tell you about very okay, recent Okay, thank events. you so much for that. You're very welcome. Is okay, as you can hear, it is not the most up-to-date AI, so it's pretty typical. And you can also interact, or sorry, interrupt AI when it is speaking. So you can, you know, speak anytime you like, and it will always understand what you're saying. Now, uh, to enable integration, you can click this button and you can connect to certain apps. So uh, right now, this AI is basically offline. It doesn't have any access to the internet, but I wanted to be able to access some content from the web in real time. And therefore, I'll try to connect to Perplexity. Let me click this button. And there you go. Now I'm going to close this. Uh, Perplexity has been connected. And if you click this button, oh, sorry, maybe uh, this button, uh, there's going to be the option. Oh, there you go. You can see that Perplexity is now on the list. And yeah, there are a few settings that maybe you can do, but I'm not going to change the setting here. Just close this. And now if I ask something like I want to know the latest news, it is going to be using Perplexity to get the answer. So let me give you a quick demonstration. Good afternoon, Hex6. What's on your mind today? Hey, can you tell me the latest news from Apple? Sure thing, X6. I can definitely look up the latest news from Apple for you. Just a heads up, this might take a few seconds as I search the web. All right, I've got the latest scoop on Apple for you, XX. As of today, June 24th, 
Apple has announced that Japan's My Number Card can now be added to the Wallet app on iPhones, making Japan the first country outside the US to support this feature. They're also gearing up to release Okay, I thank you so much for that. You're very welcome, Hex. Is there anything else? Okay, that's just a quick demonstration to uh, to use in an integration, which in this case, perplexity on Eleven AI. Of course, there are many other things that you can do, but I hope that brief interaction will give you a better idea on how you can use Eleven AI. And maybe in the future, we can see even more integrations and this voice assistant will be becoming even more powerful than ever. So that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.